The following program is rated E. Today on City Line, it's our chocolate special. So the next cupcakes. thing we're doing is a ganache. Mm. We're doing ganache two ways. Ridiculously tasty chocolate treats, and I'm the City Line sampler. So, do you need this spoon? No. Okay. You're good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm an animal, I can't help it. Then brown is the new black. First and foremost is this rich chocolate. Yes. Beautiful brown tones for your wardrobe. Because it gives yeah. us some, you know, richness. It's really elegant. Mm -hmm. And later, highlighting the best chocolate this country has to offer. Really good chocolate, and that's what yeah. you get when you have a chocolatier that's actually doing everything themselves. They know exactly yeah. the ingredients in here, and there's so much flavor. It's City Line with Tracy Moore. as I am today because today is a sweet one. You are all in for a treat. It's our chocolate special! Chocolate! So if you don't know, I kind of like chocolate. I love chocolate, okay? I'm understating it. We're gonna bake with chocolate today. We're gonna talk about wearing chocolate brown tones in our wardrobe and in our makeup bag. Let's just dive right into it. We're gonna get into it with chocolate cupcakes with Jyoti Nanra. That's right, that's how we're starting today. Okay, Miss Jyoti, what are we doing in the kitchen today? Tell me all about it. Tracy, everyone loves a good chocolate cupcake. I know you and I especially appreciate chocolate. So we are elevating these chocolate cupcakes to the next level and we're personalizing them to whatever you prefer. I am so excited because if you asked me, I would even eat them like this. So would I. They are plain, they are naked, there's nothing on them. I'm a purist, it's good enough, but I know so knowing you, you're gonna like take it to the next level and the next level and the next level. So where do you wanna start? Okay, I wanna start with something that is so nostalgic for me and I'm sure for you too, yeah. grocery store chocolate frosting. We all grew oh, up with it, it's so good. Baby. Oh, delicious, right? So good. So this is a standard sort of like store-bought yeah. chocolate frosting. We're elevating it with a little bit of melted chocolate in there just to Ooh. add a little bit of depth. Yeah. So let's make it. Okay, let's make it. So I've got my butter here creamed up. See how it's really nice and light? So that's yeah. the texture we're aiming for. We want this to be super duper fluffy and light. Yeah. Airy, sweet and decadent, but we don't want it to be dense. It's, it's like eating sugar. Basically. Like fluffy like sugar. Fluffy with That's what sugar. It feels That's like. what we want. Yeah. Amazing. So I'll have you go ahead and add in slowly our icing this? sugar. Yeah. So that's icing sugar. Um, there's cocoa in there. There's a little bit of espresso powder in there. And then we go for got, it. Go for it. And then we're gonna. Oh, oh sorry, it's fine. Jody. This is a part of making <laughs> an icing as we get it everywhere. You're downwind. You're downwind. Sorry, girl. There no. we go. And more. Want to, shall, shall we? Oh yeah, do it, do it, do it. I thought she was like, absolutely not, you don't put any more in there. Baking is such a precise science, and uh, you know, science was never my strong suit in school. <laughs> so it's like... We're icing sugar everywhere? Yeah. Beautiful, okay. Um, I'll have you add the vanilla in. I'm putting it in this way. Yeah. I need your dress to have vanilla Beautiful. all over it. Beautiful, and then I'm just gonna pour in this melted chocolate. So you want it to be oh, slightly warm. Beautiful. So good. Okay, so, um, you're putting these all together. You've got yeah. it on fairly low right now, mm -hmm. so you're not wearing all the ingredients. Exactly. But this is, is it usually a fairly speedy process to make this kind of it is. grocery it's, store frosting It stuff? really is. Like, as soon as you add everything in, as you see, you're seeing now all that butter yeah. and that chocolate's incorporating with all our icing sugar and cocoa. And the longer we whip this out, the yeah. lighter it's gonna get. So ideally, I would whip this for about five to 10 minutes. Beautiful. And then it goes from this nice deep chocolate color, it aerates and we have that. And we have this stuff. We have that. 
So beautiful, light, what are we doing with it? We are going to ice some cupcakes with this. I'm gonna show you the texture of that oh, first. That's gorgeous. It's so light, it's so airy. It almost looks like ice cream. It's so good. Yeah. Okay, so here I have my chocolate frosting in a piping bag for you. You okay. can go ahead and pipe that guy. I'm gonna do this in a way yeah. so you can see. Now, are you gonna give me any instructions or do I just go for I it? I want you to go for it. We've piped enough, I feel like, have together. Have we? I feel like we have. Okay, I'm gonna do Look little you. rosettes. Oh. Look at me! <laughs> Not bad, right? I love it. And then we go in a little bit more. So this is amazing. That is beautiful. Did you get to see it, Megan, before I eat it? <laughs> okay. So it's very important I tried, and why don't you tell us the next thing we're gonna be doing so with these cupcakes. So the next thing we're doing is a ganache. Mm. We're doing ganache two ways. Mm -hmm. We have a... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a piping ganache and a mm -hmm. dipping ganache. The technique stays the same, the end result is different. The mm -hmm. proportions are a little bit different, the recipes will be available. So this mm -hmm. one right here is a one-to-one -one ratio, so I'm using a good coverture dark chocolate. Okay. And I've added in my really hot, heavy cream. That's all you need. You could add a pinch of salt if you like. Okay. But essentially a ganache is heavy cream and good chocolate. You stir it together. It's gonna get really, really nice and silky and smooth like that. Like and a, then a ganache is like that really thick, decadent, truffle, truffle rich feeling. Yeah. So it's good. good. So you have this, okay. and then so this particular recipe is right here. So okay. this is our did you piping ganache, and I wanna just drag a spoon through that just to show <laughs> yeah. that gorgeous texture. Did this sit in the fridge at all? No, room temperature, it and oh, it's pipeable. Good? It's so... Do you need the spoon? No. Okay. You're good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm an animal, I can't help it. It's I'm just gonna get tray. some more spoons out, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead. Keep going. And this mm. one is a pipeable ganache, so you let it sit overnight on your counter. Oh, wow. And this is just like I'm the leave most here. perfect ganache to pipe with. Okay. There you go, madame. Woo! There we go. Just a thing of beauty. So gorgeous. I think of these when I think of like birthday cupcakes and all of that good stuff. It's such a rich filling. It's so good. I better try it so the audience knows. You absolutely should. It's I'm going to show you how to fill a cupcake. So this is our next one. Same type of ganache. Uh huh. But this one we're gonna actually fill because this is a dipping ganache. Oh, this is good. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my mm -hmm. favorite. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay. Um, so this is a filled cupcake. This is a dipping ganache. So this is if you don't want something too sweet, but you really do love the depth of chocolate, but you don't want that huge swirl. Mm -hmm. I am gonna take it to the next level because okay. you know how I do. I'm gonna fill my cupcakes first because I need something inside that cupcake if all it's getting is a dip. Beautiful. I have my piping tip. I've cored that cupcake. So you can see what that looks like. So she just emptied out, hollowed it out, and now we're gonna fill it up and with now good we're stuff. With some piping ganache, so you can see this ganache is so actually. So slightly different. Yeah, it's slightly different. Um, this is more of like, see how it's not like popping, like yeah. it's not fluid, right? So that's what we're looking for here. And that's and then, what it looks like. And then we can. Oh my gosh! And then you do a dip. Can I try? I have no yes. training. I have no training. Do it. And. That's what we got! It's beautiful! And you can add sprinkles to that one if you want it. Okay! Yeah. Very nice. Or like that. <laughs> <laughs> How would you do it? I don't know. I was trying, whatever. There's perfect. I Happy love it. To it's me. beautiful. Okay. okay, we have another one? We have our final one. So this okay. is for anyone that really loves just a good chocolate cupcake. You like a little bit of something on your cupcake, but you don't want a ton. This is a chocolate cream cheese frosting. So as Ooh. you can see, it's a very moussey texture. It's okay. super light, it's uh -huh. very airy, it's not too sweet, it's not too rich, it's literally just very oh, light and fluffy. So it's like a mousse, it's good, right? Mm -hmm. So this one also pipes really, really nicely. And this Beautiful. is for anyone that doesn't really love. And that is like light the and lightest. easy. And this is okay. just gonna taste like a cloud. Like it's so light. I was told I need to eat it. You I have, have to, to judge the best one in the bunch. So uh, uh, I need to know. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Very light, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Do you need? Ta da! It's the ganache. This is my one. This is the favorite one. This is it. 
segment I've ever done on TV. I'm just... <laughs> And, and I mean, it's good. Joe T. You did well as well, but this was amazing for me. Thank you so much. Thank so, you. all of the toppings uh, for these recipes included uh, to make the actual cup, uh, including how to make the actual cupcake. All of it. All of it online on CityLine.tv. Thank you for that. She's gonna come back to make some really easy chocolate bark. For now, we're going to break. Stay with us. <laughs> Coming up, move over black. Brown is having a moment. Just something different than black. Like, I'm, you know, we both wear a lot of black. I'm not yeah. shaming anyone who wears black because mm -hmm. it's still gonna be around. show today so we've enjoyed some really decadent chocolate cupcakes well I did I'm so sorry you watched me eat them now we're gonna head to our closet brown is the new black here to show us effortless ways to style it into our everyday looks is Janice Meredith hello, hello, hello. I miss the chocolate as well but I'm going to be I at least can come in afterwards come in afterwards yes. I made a whole mess of that kitchen so we're just cleaning it up right now so you won't know I was there they won't even know you were there. <laughs> we thought we'd talk a little bit about Brown because Brown, I was very happy to see Brown make this big comeback. We've always had Brown. We've always yeah. been wearing Brown, but we haven't necessarily been doing like head to toe Brown. No. And that's what's happening now in all the different iterations of Brown, which is lovely. Yes. but. First and foremost is this rich chocolate. Yes. So it was always a fall thing because that equestrian horse look that we always do every fall, name it something different. Yes. Brown's always been there. But yes, absolutely, with this quiet luxury coming on, mm. and that means the monochromatic dressing, and then just something different than black. Like, I'm, you know, we both wear a lot of black. I'm not yeah. shaming anyone who wears black because mm -hmm. it's still gonna be around, but this is just a really nice, different approach to wearing, you know, a solid color. Cause it gives yeah. us some, you know, richness. It's really elegant. Mm -hmm. So many options of how to style it. It's beautiful and yes. it's warm and yes. I love that. Yes. Okay, so let's start with the monochromatic look. So we're going like head to toe chocolate. Head to toe. And so this is why it's gonna work for everyone is because the it's it's not as harsh as black, yeah. the chocolate brown. So every skin tone can actually pick it up and how mm. you pair it makes it even more flattering for your skin tone. But monochromatic is for everyone. And you know how I love to just play this with all beautiful. of the opposite ends of the spectrum on, you know, the texture. more masculine and the <clears throat> texture and then yeah. we've got, we're pairing it with the satin, like just buy a Beautiful. skirt, which is a classic that everyone should have. Yes. And we have a cashmere sweater for reformation, so you know that this is going to be really ethically made and grown and last forever. Mm. And then we're pairing it with big chunky boot. But you'll notice they are not all the same hue because when you get different textures, you can layer on all of these, diff the same shade yes. of the, the same color, but these all the different hues of it. Right, because so you've gone different with your texture and that gives you a little yes, bit of leeway. Play. You can play a little exactly. bit. Exactly. But this, I mean, between this and this, the silky slippiness of it, I love that situation. And this is what makes things effortless and, right. you know, and less intentional. Yes. Right? Even if it took you three hours to build it. And girlfriends on the phone right? and zooming with one and like, but this, but right? this, but what this. this? Yes, what yes. about this? And then Which you walk out and you're like, effortless. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> here I am. Okay, let's talk a little bit about this look here because you've paired it with this beautiful, really nice pale yellow. Yes, and that's, so pastels, pastels through the winter we saw. Mm -hmm. We're going to be carrying them into the spring. Love a sweater vest. And also this white t-shirt. So the white isn't so harsh as with wearing with the black. Right. Black and white you kind of little bit too much of a waiter look, mm -hmm. right? And that's mm -hmm. what I think we're all like, oh, this is a go-to, but now we're like, oh, backing it up. I don't want to look like the waiter, so what do right. I do? So the chocolate brown, it's great. It's nice and soft. And again, we've got some textures and brown denim, also see, from I Reformation. I see that often. I that's know. beautiful. I'm actually kind of tired of my grays. I haven't really done black denim. Yeah. It's been more the gray. Mm -hmm. Maybe black has faded into it. And yeah. then blues, I wear keep my lighter blues for the summer, but I would totally get these and I don't actually have a very big wish list. Like I like to play with what I own. Right. Um, so, so if you would add those to the to the list of yes. you know, your capsule yeah. 
That's that means totally. that's a big vote of that's confidence. Good. Yeah, I love the cut of those. I think they're beautiful, and I love the fact that they're in chocolate. You can wear that a million different ways. Exactly, and this is how we're pairing things, right? Yeah. So we've got more of the layered piece, and I think we've all seen that you're supposed to have your white t-shirt peek out, like that's yes. the styling tip. Yes. And then your t your the knit, and then we've got this really nice nubby chocolate over top. Beautiful. And that's what we're playing with the the shapes. And anything that's mock croc will always look 10 times more expensive than it is. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, that's a beautiful look. Love that. Yes. You stay right there. Yeah, I know. Okay, moving right along. Let's let's keep with sort of the pastels because you're having some fun with some lighter hues. Yeah, so this mm. icy blue is going to be really big for spring and summer. Oh, and nice. it pairs well with the chocolate. And we yeah. love a good texture. Um, but then coming into the lavenders, a cardigan is replacing the blazer. This is a great work look. Mm -hmm. We've got, like, why go with a plain white blouse? Go with something that's a little bit more fun. It's got this great deep pinstripe to it. Nice. And then this works really well. This is an effortless office work that isn't just so black trouser, you know, plain blouse, right? Yeah. We have, let's, like, look, buy pieces that are interesting. Mm -hmm. So then when we wear them, our outfit comes together as being really interesting, That's right? That's right. I love that as a workplace yes. Uh, outfit. Yes, let's talk about oh, the bag. Oh, yes. I love that bag. Okay, so point is, this is a great slouchy shape that we're having yes. now. And it's really, you know, we've got some texture. We've got it up in the suede. But what's happening is the chocolate brown will go with the black. It'll go with the navy, yep. and it'll go with the camel. And that's how we're wearing our outerwear. So have a little bit more fun. Mm -hmm. Don't just go with the classic black. Inter introduce something a little bit more interesting. Yes, and you can wear it with whatever you've got. Yes. Like, just treat it like you would your black bag. Exactly. OK, let's talk a little bit about pattern and brighter, bolder hues with Exactly. Brown. So if you're not, um, if you're more of a winter and you want your darker hues, and because yeah. the pastels are more soft summer, soft autumn, this is our winter, then you can definitely pair them with the chocolate. And it's a really complimentary statement look. Yeah. Um, if you're confused about what to pair with your chocolate, then look at any of your prints that you have that have some brown in there. And then yeah. you're like, oh, this like, you know, magenta will totally work. Yes. Oh, we've got like this ice blue. We've got the sage green, another soft color. Mm -hmm. um, so what we have is the red with a faux leather, brown, chocolate brown. There's nice. nothing more rich than a chocolate brown for leather. Yes. Right? Um, I have this fantastic slip dress, which we all should have in our closets because it's flattering. And um, what I've done is instead of wrapping it, pull it tight at the center. Uh -huh. And if you knot it there, then you get this fabulous effect perfect to wear over with your um, faux leather. Oh, that's beautiful. Or your pants, your jeans. And then finally, denim. I think that this is, <gasps> this is this your... look and this look, my favorites. But let's talk about denim on denim with brown. Easy default. Gorgeous. If you're, you know, really just don't know what to wear, then go with uh, denim. And, you know, you can pair denim and denim. This is your Canadian tuxedo. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> We've but got done this. like so beautifully. <laughs> Love that. Uh, faux puffer vest yeah. is, I mean, you can wear this still over top of your um, more wool jackets as well. Yeah. We're going to see a lot of these great crossbodies. Again, you can pair the chocolate on chocolate, like we can do that with the black with the different textures. Yeah. So that's why this is more fun than just uh, basic nylon. Last point is the belt. You can wear black boots and a brown belt. Just like mixing your metals, mix your belts. Mix and that's your her mic drop moment. Yes. Black and brown. Do it. Let's go to break. More coming up on our chocolate special. Coming up, things take a dark turn sampling Canada's best chocolate. I haven't seen his insides. Okay. And I'm really, really curious. Sorry, Theo. Oh, oh, oh! oh. chocolate we don't have to look far move over Willy Wonka because Canadian made companies are creating some of the best chocolate you can eat and here with the spread from coast to coast is Paycheck they're so excited and they should be they should be actually you should be I always am when you walk in here but particularly today because you just like mind that chocolate yeah. from all across the country and you always bring the good stuff 
Where do you want to start? I took this assignment really seriously. You did, didn't so, you? I did. Thank oh. you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, we have such great chocolatiers in Canada. Like, yes. you know, and I, I love chocolate and I find it's knowing about it is kind of my job. But yeah. when I was looking for companies and products that I hadn't featured on the show before, I was really amazed and also kind of upset that I hadn't found out about some of these chocolate right. companies already. Yeah. So I want to start off with Kasama. They are located okay. on Granville Island, British Columbia. Nice. And oh, 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 hey, here. okay. On what side wow, in okay. the house? Wow, this is uh, putting the pressure on me a little bit. Okay, <laughs> you better um, get it right. So. Hey. <laughs> Kasama was started in uh, 2015. <laughs> and it's launched by four friends. And basically one of the guys, Vince, he saw a, a photo of his father back in the Philippines. And he was like, Dad, Dad that's great. Like, this photo of you with this like mango tree and it wasn't it was a cacao pod oh okay. and so he shows his friends and you know when you get together with your friends and you have great ideas right. like you're gonna you're gonna figure everything out you're gonna solve all the problems of the all world the you've invented a million things so with your other friends they're like well, we should make some chocolate and they did like they, they actually followed through they, I know most people don't follow through on their big ideas when they yeah. get together with friends so they have done um, beautiful chocolates, bean to bar. What bean to bar means when you see that um, on a chocolate, you know, packaging or something, it, it means that you're basically making chocolate from scratch. So you're starting okay. with the uh, cacao pods, you know, roasting, winnowing, which is when you separate the outer shell from the bean. So it really mm. gives the chocolatier full control. It lets them experiment with maybe specialty beans and uh, yeah. from different parts of the world, for example, and like the grinding of the chocolate. So it's really quite special and a lot more people are experiencing experimenting and doing chocolate this way. So let's Beautiful. start off with, this is their white chocolate with strawberry. Look at that color, it's all natural. It's and mm -hmm. it's featuring British uh, Columbia strawberries when they're at their peak. Very few in group. Someone here loves the West Coast. It's, <laughs> but it's really good chocolate and that's what yeah. you get when you have a chocolate here that's actually doing everything themselves. They know exactly yeah. the ingredients in here. And there's so much flavor. No added like mm. flavors or preservatives or anything. Yeah. Now, this is another really um, beautiful bar. This is called Muscovado. And uh -huh. you look at it and they call it a tanned chocolate. So it used mm -hmm. to be considered like a peasant sugar because it was so readily available. Okay. Made from sugar cane juice. Has a natural kind of molasses flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also, I just want to get this right, it is made with Philippine Muscovado sugar. So okay. this is one of the special bars that they do as well. It's got a different taste to it. It almost has like a, a bit of a tang to it, yeah. which is nice. It's it, really nice. It and cuts like through the sweet. Caramelly. Mm -hmm. um, forest and sea. So it's dark chocolate with Pacific Ocean sea salt and Don't rosemary. mind if I do. If you go onto their website, you'll just see the beautiful chocolates that they do in the different flavors. Mm -hmm. And I want to highlight this bar here, which is a special for Lunar New Year, which mm -hmm. is around the corner. And what they do is they work with a local to the West Coast, a local Taiwanese pastry chef named Olivia Wu and mm -hmm. they came up with this collaboration it's the Philippine Daladan milk chocolate with buzz ginger longan biscuit wow this one right here it is so beautiful they also it's very good with a Taiwanese artist and her mom who did the calligraphy so their artwork is also really like thoughtful yes and they put a lot of love and care into um, their products and I just learned that da uh, Daladan is a Philippine citrus fruit so when you're working with these like really interesting chocolatiers you learn a lot about the ingredients Everything has been delicious, but talk to me now about spreads. Okay, Alo Simon is a company out of Montreal, started by two friends in 2018, known for doing really high quality gourmet chocolate spreads. That's Delish. when I first discovered them. And they branched out in 2023 into doing bean to bar chocolates as well. But let's okay. start off with what they're known for. Their beautiful uh, hazelnut jaguar chocolate spread. This is one of their best sellers. It's so delicious for like, Pancakes, waffles, on toast. Mm. I actually eat it straight from the jar. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so lovely. This is delicious. This, this is so good. This is another one that's newer. Almond, cardamom, and cacao nibs. So okay. if you love almond butter, this is like next level. You'll just want to spread so this onto everything. So it's healthy is what you're saying. Uh, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? Oh, also, I love like, the crunch. Vegan, nut-free, gluten-free. They don't add any oils to their products, mm. which is something that you might find in other, um, let's say, chocolate spreads. Yeah. You'll notice that there's a lot of additives. Not with their products. Okay. Hazelnut, dark chocolate, cocoa nibs, and pista coffee. They work with a local uh, Montreal uh, coffee roaster. So, and they also mm. just have, and I know it's a lot for you to do, but they also came out with these beautiful bars. So um, I wanted you to try perhaps this little bit right oh, here. Oh, you want me to eat more chocolate? Yeah, I do. Oh. Would you mind? Like, if you Fine. wouldn't mind. So this is the Janduya bar with coffee and lemon. 
beautiful. And they also have these beautiful tablets. So if you are like a fruit and nut person, like this one is just absolutely beautiful. This so, is like a log of chocolate. Like it is so good. Who doesn't want a log of chocolate, really? Right. And this like, is the fruit and nut. Just so you know what that looks like. That's the most gorgeous fruit and nut I've ever seen. Isn't that beautiful? Very nice. Hazelnuts coated with jaguar chocolate and chai spices, and they also use Ontario hazelnuts. So for people who may not have realized that we actually grow great nuts here. I didn't know we did We're that. We're full of nuts. I didn't know we did that. Yes, exactly. We're nutty. <laughs> Keep going. So I'm going to move on to chocolate salt. They work direct with farmers. They do bean to bar as well, which lets them control each step. Mm -hmm. Made in Toronto, that's where all of their bars are made. They also use volcanic stone wheels to grind their cacao. Ooh. So it gives it like a bit of a rustic feel. All of their bars also make really great drinking chocolate. So I made you one here. Oh my gosh. This is <laughs> Let me just like you can barely this chocolate with some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> So this okay. is a chili one, and they also work with Jaguar chocolate. So mm -hmm. I want to show you the difference. Jaguar oh, chocolate is good. also known as like albino or white chocolate. It's a bit more rare to get, but yeah. if you see that, you know you're getting something really special. Okay. And it was, um, it's traditionally grown in Mexican forests where there's jaguars, hence the name. Oh. Uh, so when you see that, it also, ha and it's white. So it's a lighter colored chocolate, yeah. and it's really something quite special if you get to have it. And they have a whole line of different Jaguar chocolates. Like maybe you want to try a little bit just so you know what it tastes I like. Will. It would be a shame if you didn't. And then right? take us down to these beautiful, like, I mean, the they bon look bons. like art. I know. So Onyx Chocolate, they've been around for about mm. five years. They make beautiful bonbons. Mm -hmm. um, they're located in East Chinatown in Toronto. They have a special Lunar New Year box. And they do a lot of Asian-inspired flavors. So Mandarin Jasmine Tea, Spicy Mala Almond, Coconut Lemongrass, for mm. example. And then here's a box of like, the regular kind of bonbons, yeah. which also have really beautiful flavors. And because Lunar New Year, Valentine's Day, around the corner. Right. Maybe if you're thinking ahead, these would all make great gifts. Um, they've got this bear, which they've named Theo. Hey, Theo. He's dark chocolate. Okay. His heart is um, raspberry caramel. Inside, he's got dragees and some malt balls, uh, different flavors. And so he's smashable. Like, the whole point is he's adorable. But he's so cute. He's so cute. I think I can find a way to do it, though. Yes, I want to <laughs> actually, I don't, I haven't seen his insides. Okay. And I'm really, really curious. Sorry, Theo. Oh, 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 wow. So you can see all of the goodness that you get out there. Theo is filled with sugar. Oh He's so gosh. sweet. He's, Look at him. He's lovely. He's lovely. And what a great gift for anyone. Mm-hmm. But especially mm -hmm. us in this moment. <laughs> this was so good. Um, am I done talking because I actually want to try something? No, you have to say that because oh. I'm still chewing. Just say that part. Thanks, Pei. You're welcome. <laughs> For this decadent range, to buy all of these chocolates, you can scan the QR code. Beautiful. And it's on the screen right now, Pei. Thank you for that. <laughs> We couldn't have an entire show dedicated to chocolate and not share any with our audience, right? I'm feeling terrible right now. <laughs> Make someone's day with baskets, the perfect gift for all occasions, like this gift that includes buttery toffees, premium chocolates, and more. All of you are getting this chocolate delight prize pack from Baskets, valued at $65. Enjoy, eat, my friends. The chocolate special continues after this. Stay with us. Coming up, chocolate tones in your makeup. Brown is a really good color that you can mix in with other colors as well. And no matter what color you are wearing, brown makeup always works. Today's show. We've eaten it, I've eaten it, we've worn it, we're wearing it, and now we're looking inside our makeup bag for it with delicious beauty products that we're gonna wanna eat. It's Tracy Peart joining us now. Chocolate beauty. So, um, okay, let's say you're looking at your favorite eyeshadow palette, and what color are you using constantly? I'm gonna say browns, and I'm not saying it because of the show that we're doing here today. I'm really not. Brown is like a really simple neutral. Whether I'm doing it on, I'm doing makeup on other people or doing it on myself, mm -hmm. brown is a really good color that you can mix in with other colors as well. And no matter what color you are wearing, brown makeup always works. When I remember I would do your makeup and I'm like, what are you wearing today? You're like, I'm changing into a lot of outfits. Brown, brown, right? Always. Brown always works. Brown yeah. works on every skin color, every mm -hmm. eye color, hair color, works on all different ages as well. Yeah. And it's not specific to any season. So True. I always say brown is a touchdown all year round. Oh! Look out 
Nicki Minaj. Oh, <laughs> touchdown all year round. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's start by like setting the mood. We're gonna set to the mood for our beauty regime with a little bit of uh, chocolate over there. Yeah, so like when you're, before you set up to do your like chocolatey makeup look, I wanna set the mood and use some candles and maybe have a little company coming over, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> You want that sweet smell in the air. <laughs> so uh, Bath and Body Works, they're very known for their candles. Yes. And here we have a three wick candle. This one's called Hot Cocoa and Cream. Tracy, it smells I- Smells like it. I, literally, it literally smells like a mug of sweet, creamy, hot mm. chocolate. And it had like, you can smell it even. Like, yes. Yeah, you can smell it, right? So uh, the, the fragrance notes are a decadent milk chocolate, fresh milk, uh, fresh uh, steamed milk, Ooh. and mini marshmallows. Now, I don't know why they have to be mini. <laughs> That's the but, smell. But, they don't smell like the big ones. That's the, that's the fragrance though. They're right. The big ones don't smell the same, <laughs> no. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and then over here, we have this one. It's called Cocoa Roasted Chestnuts. And to me, it smells like mm. white chocolate. Now, I haven't been listening mm. to the whole show, but is the verdict out like, do we like white chocolate or not? It took me years to get into it. I'm not yeah, as you much like into it? the white. They you, like the white. Not I'm not it. as much into the white. I'll, I'll eat it in a pinch. It's <laughs> like chocolate. Like if you're desperate. Yeah, if I'm desperate and I've just, yeah, that's all that's on offer, I'm gonna eat some, I got but it's into not it my lately. preference. I got into it it's lately. It's super sweet. Yes, that's why I like it. Yeah, it's very <laughs> sweet. So uh, this one smells like white chocolate. It has like yeah. a really decadent, nutty, warm scent. And the um, um, fragrance notes in this one is uh, roasted chestnut, cocoa Ooh. powder, and vanilla woods. Oh, that's So lovely. we got something for everybody if you like the white, van uh, the white chocolate or, or the milk the chocolate. Beautiful. Okay, let's talk lips. Okay, so over here we have the Quo Beauty Shimmer Lip Oils. Now, mm. Cool Beauty is a vegan and cruelty-free brand. You can find it in Shoppers Drug Mart. They come in four shades, but for obvious reasons today, I went with this color called Chocolate Eclair. Mm. So it has like a shimmery wash um, over the lips, yeah. and it smells like chocolate. It actually smells like chocolate. Yes, it does, Tracy. So this one's for you to try mm -hmm. on. Thank so you. So it's made from 70% natural, um, naturally derived ingredients, and it's enriched with a cocoa, coconut, mm -hmm. as well as ginger root uh, oils to help make the lips feel soft oh, and hydrated. Good. So it looks really nice. Very nice. Very nice and shimmery. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel left out. Do you want <laughs> I some? want a little bit of soup. Do you want some of your own? So, I've been doing your makeup, I've done your makeup for over 14 years, but yes. you've never done mine. No, I haven't. Right. <laughs> do you trust me to do yours? I trust you, so I would like you to put this lip, this lip oil on okay. me. Okay. All right. So this is a mascara, you say? Uh-oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Highlighter, perhaps? Oh, no. Okay, so Never just, mind. just be normal, and okay. I'm gonna do... Uh, 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 yeah, put your head down uh, uh, a bit. Put I'm your head nervous. down a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit on the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now marry the lips. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Just once. Mm -hmm. Wait, do it again. Marry them. Mm -hmm. Stop. That's perfect. That's what I used to yell at her. I'd be like, yes. don't rub the lips. Marry, marry the, the lips. lips. Yes, and then she'd yes. be like, stop, stop. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> I trust very you. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very and it nice. smells very good. Okay, moving right along, let's talk bronzer. Okay, so bronzer, is a lot of people ask, like, can you do it, like, all year round? You can wear it all year round, no matter what season. If you want to give your skin a little oomph, a little warmth, a little health, mm -hmm. you can wear it. Like, I obviously don't need it. I'm brown all year round. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't need it. pass on the bronzer. <laughs> <laughs> pass on it. <laughs> but for those of you who want to wear it all year round, you can. Yeah. I just suggest that when, a tip when you're putting on bronzer that you don't put it on all over the face. No. That's when you're going to get the, like, artificial oomph Loompa type of look. Yeah. So you want to do the rule of uh, the double threes. So you're drawing a three like this on this side and a three on the other side. Mm -hmm. Those are the points you want to hit. That's going to give you a nice natural look. Beautiful. So bronzing's never uh, been so delicious, Tracy. So over here we have the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Long Wear Matte Bronzer. So it's going to create an all over chocolatey, yeah. warm a dimension. And it's infused with 100% real cocoa powder, Ooh. so it smells like what? Chocolate! Yeah. <laughs> and it's beautiful packaging too, like it just looks so, this is very nice and giftable. So you smell as good as you look. Yes, yes. oh I love that. 
Okay, how about, listen, can I eat this? What's going on here? <laughs> this looks like a nice piece of chocolate right, right here. Right, Unfortunately, you can't eat it, Tracy. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, the Makeup Revolution's I Love Chocolate Salted Ooh. Caramel Eyeshadow Palette. That. That's beautiful. Okay, so I picked it, obviously, because, like, again, it doesn't smell like chocolate, but yeah. inside you have all the chocolatey uh, uh, colors. There's the colors that are called, like, fudge, drizzle, sweet, caramel, mm. candy, and I'm wearing them right now, mm -hmm. but I really picked it for the packaging. Let's get real. Yeah. The packaging the looks great. very cool. You can, and like, if you're nice. teens, like, like putting it on their beauty stand or whatever, it's just yeah. really cute. And it's like, uh, again, goes with the theme. And I'm wearing the chocolate colors right now on my eyes. Oh, they look so good. Yes. And it's like, it's a lighter uh, chocolate, uh, a lighter brown color, which yes. is beautiful. All the browns. T, thank you so much for that. That was so good and it smelled so good. I know, right? We're going to go back to the kitchen to eat more chocolate after the break. It's it's so Coming up, the love affair continues. And then we have milk chocolate. I feel like this is what most people kind of are attracted to. That's like, it's me. very delicious. I'm attracted to you. It's very, yes, it's I very think attractive. You're very gorgeous. <laughs> Look at you, haughty. Sorry, I was mesmerized by that beautiful work there, Al. That was a thing of beauty. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> so we're, we've done the cupcakes. We want to talk about chocolate bark now. It's perfectly simple. It's versatile. The flavor combinations are endless. And apparently, Jyoti says, easy to make. They're easy to make. So these are one of your favorites. You yes. can do whatever you want Anything. with your chocolate bark, right? Whatever you like. Oh, I love that. And the key ingredient here is using a high quality coveture chocolate. So you want to use a really good quality chocolate because if you use that, that's half your battle. Okay. It's going to be absolutely delicious. All right. So there's so many types of chocolate out there, Trace. There's gold chocolate, ruby chocolate. There's things in between. Yes. But these are, I guess, the most common types that you can find in most grocery stores. Yeah. We've got our white chocolate. Yep, beautiful. So that has the least amount of cocoa solid. So it's going to be very neutral. It's mostly cocoa butter, if you actually think about it. Yes. So it's very creamy. It's delicious. It's sweet. It's super sweet. This is what Tracy P says. Is she likes it. It's it she is very white yummy. chocolate. And then we have <clears throat> milk chocolate. I feel like this is what most people kind of are attracted to. That's like it's me. very delicious. I'm attracted to you. It's very <laughs> yes. It's very I think attractive. You're very gorgeous. <laughs> Look at you, haughty. Yeah. Love so it. milk chocolate is generally 35 to 50 percent cocoa solids. So okay. it is very mild tasting. Yeah. You still get that chocolate hit, mm. but you have sweetness as well there, right? Absolutely. And then my favorite is dark chocolate. I love yes. dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is anywhere from 50 to 95 percent. So it's like literally like the good stuff, but you yes. can go sweeter or you can go a little bit more bitter. It's totally up to you. Yeah. This one here is a, I believe it's a 55%, so it's a little okay. bit on the sweeter side. Yeah, I think that you're more distinguished when you like the dark chocolate, and I'm a child. That's what I, I think. I don't think so. The milk chocolate is like pedestrian. But I like I'm all a purist. I just want the simple chocolate. I'm basic, okay? Just give me the basic <laughs> chocolate. But dark chocolate has got some complexity. Yes, it does, yeah. So I'm here and you're here, and we love the bark, but so does Pei. So Pei, come on in. Help me make this chocolate bark, because we're going to make you. our own. Yes. It's like, that was that was really <laughs> pulling your arm there. She's like, OK. I was literally on the edge, and they were holding me back. Right? I'm like, I'm ready. Please, I'm ready. Let me do it. Yes. Let me do it. So how do we make our chocolate bark? So we have some melted chocolate here. This is so easy. Um, I like to use tempered chocolate. Tempered chocolate is essentially the heating and cooling of chocolate just to stabilize it. So you end up with that shiny chocolate finish. It has like a snap to it. Um, mm. You can hold it without the chocolate melting on your hands. Mm. However, I know that that can be a process. So all you really have to do is like melt your chocolate. Easy. Make sure it's not piping hot. Cool yeah. it down a little bit, room temperature, pour it, fridge. And then you break it apart and you're good to go. And you're good to go. Okay, okay. let's do it. Are we gonna pour it now? You're gonna pour it. So All I've right. got melted chocolate here for you guys. So we've got a white chocolate and then we've got a dark chocolate. Pour it however oh, you like. Oh, look at you with nice? your strategy. <laughs> I, I love that. I just wanted to be a little less basic. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> I'm impressed. All right, so if you would do this, do you have to um, put it in the fridge right away or you put your toppings on it first? Yeah, so toppings while it's still wet, otherwise you're, it's not gonna nothing's stay. gonna stick. 
Um, so I would say put your toppings on and then transfer it into the fridge. Let it sit in there for like 10 minutes and you're all good to go. Okay. okay. You're painting yours like a Van Gogh. This. Stop it. Yeah, I <laughs> Stop it right now. We I'm copying everything, everything you're doing because you're it making me look nice bad too. right now. Like you're even doing it you in know, the squares. It's Stop like, it. Yours is rustic. They're yeah. both rustic. <laughs> They're both rustic. They're both, both beautiful. They're both <laughs> shapes. That's like right. we're not identifying the shape. Mine is organic. Both shape. Mine's a little and then we're organic. gonna put our toppings on, right? So what do you suggest? So, so Jyoti, I know you say we can do anything on here, but she's got rules. What I am have I putting rules on the for you chocolate? guys, just for the segment. Okay. So with white chocolate, I love to do like fruits and nuts, especially fruits that have a little bit of tartness to them. So you could do like freeze dried raspberries, freeze dried mm. strawberries, but I have cranberries and apricots for you. Those are my favorites, especially for the cooler months. And yeah. then I have a little bit of pistachio just to break it up. Ooh, pistachio goes nice. really well with white chocolate. Lovely. So I can go to town? You go to town okay. and pay what I have here for you. I have some uh, dry dried blood orange yeah. slices that I've dried, so they're nice and crunchy. They go so Beautiful. well with the dark chocolate. Some almonds, a little bit of toffee just for added sweetness. And I like to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on my dark chocolate. I feel like it just balances it all out. Is there a reason why you made Pays prettier than mine? I didn't, did I? Well, well she has those blood oranges and they're quite fancy. But you have apricots and Yours pistachios. Are so colorful. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And I Yours definitely was fishing colors. there and I got what I needed, so yeah. thank you okay, for validating good. me. So we both have nuts. Appreciate it. So we can yes, like too. you can even have some of my nuts. Let's oh, I'm sharing. Thank you, but she's yeah. got rules about that. No, it's fine. <laughs> you guys yeah. share. Yeah. Broke the rules. Okay, this looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I feel like I mine's more. ready. You Actually, yours looks pretty ready. I'm going to put the nice? toffee bits. It's really quite, yours oh, is really wait, stunning. What about this? <gasps> glitter. That's glitter, Tracy. I know you love glitter, so I, I brought glitter. glitter for you. You put, you go to town with that glitter. Oh, it, it is... doesn't even have like a salt no. shaker So thingy. you got to be a little bit careful <laughs> with that. Okay. I'll also say but that just because you like glitter, you have you to go. get edible glitter. It's not the yeah. glitter that oh. you have for your crafts. <laughs> and don't from the start, dollar store. <laughs> don't start putting your regular craft <laughs> glitter on your chocolate. <laughs> this is beautiful. That really makes it fancy. You know, it takes it to the next level, definitely, yeah. It's a beautiful gift um, to give. It's easy to make, but it's also like a really nice snack that you can do for a dessert if you're having people over. Like, this is very impressive. It is. So you want to snap, like, crack some so we can just hear that. Let's do some ASMR. Ooh. Yeah. Let's also crack it in our mouths. Yes, what? you can. <laughs> hint, hint. Okay, we're going to try these. We're going to go to break. I think that they're perfect. Oh, we're right back. More coming up. You, yes, you. I've got a seat in City Line's audience waiting just for you. Head to cityline.tv slash tickets to go behind the scenes with your favorite experts, the chance of great giveaways, plus all the unexpected fun of bringing City Line to your screens. What are you waiting for? Go click. We can't wait to see you. City Lines experts can help you. We're looking for suggestions. What would you recommend? What tips might you have? With everything from decor dilemmas. I'm wondering if you can help me with a sunken living room. Fashion finds. And what to wear as the mother of the bride. Fabulous food and so much more. You are in good hands. Send us your videos, pictures, and questions to submissions at cityline.tv or scan the code on your screen to get expert advice for real life. Let me know. Thanks. Today, man, did I enjoy myself. I hope you all did as well. Now, Jyoti, you are dealing in sweets all the time. This is your business, this is your life. Do you have a favorite chocolate? Is that even possible for you to pick? A favorite chocolate, like a favorite chocolate bar? Sure, throw it a chocolate bar. Let's go, let's give them some love. I love Kit Kats. Oh my gosh, me too! Oh, oh my god, like, Tracy, why? No, those are a waste of time. What? Yeah, she's no. she's what? a what? Snickers, Snickers girl. I bet you're a Snickers. 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 I knew really? it, I yeah, knew yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks to T, Joe, T, Pay, Janice, these are serious discussions we have on the show. Thank you to our audience, you were amazing today, and our viewers.